Hard to say that I'm on the road today because I'm playing Gloucester Golf Club, which is the nearest club to my house, so I haven't exactly travelled very far. Here we go. Takes a while to land that one. Well, after a few years of playing at Gloucester, you get used to hitting off slopes above your feet and below your feet. But uh, I don't mind admitting that one was a little bit knifey. And it's well worth watching all of this video because it's quite extraordinary for two different reasons. Birdie number one. Hello again and welcome to Gloucester Golf Club. This is a day out for me. This is my early Father's Day present. My son who uh, is a beginner golfer from uh, after the first lockdown, he's treated me to a round of golf here. Buzz off fly. Well, a lot of improvement has been going on at Gloucester. A lot of new drainage has been put in. The pond in front of the second tee has been fully cleared out. And the new drainage has filled it quite easily. And that's a good drive. That really is a good drive. I found a shallow divot. So this is one of my favourite shots. 50 degree. Just pound down on it. And hit it low with a load of spin. Now one of the things I do on this channel is to shout out other channels. And there is a new kid on the block gentleman by the name of Marcel Williams. He's out in Hawaii. And I love looking at other golf courses, different trees, different fauna and flora. So uh, go give Marcel a, a visit. There'll be a link below. And show him some love like we always ask you to do. Watch a few videos, give him a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. The first par three is up the hill. It's all carry over a bunker. I wasn't too sure what to take here. I was kind of like between clubs and I wasn't confident of doing something. And when you're not confident of doing something, you don't do one thing and you don't do the other. So I'm short-sided, a lot of bunker to get over, and not much green to play with. Despite the bunkers looking untidy because of no rakes, sand in them's really good. And that's my son. And this is for the first par he's had on this third hole. And he's absolutely chuffed to bits. Mind you, so am I. I certainly didn't expect to be putting for par after I hit that slappy thing into the bunker. But sometimes you get lucky, don't you? God, I'm under so much pressure, yeah?
Number six is a short par five from the tees of the day. The correct line is at that gap in the trees that you can see down there in the middle of the screen. I've gone right of that and I'm using the slope to bring the ball back into the fairway. And again, I'm between clubs. I seem to spend the entire round between clubs. So this is the big high fade with the six. But it's a bit on the big side. Still got an eagle putt though. The 10th tee has been relayed, it's only a whisker away from being reopened but for the moment we're on this temporary mat which puts it at a different angle. And I've popped that up and left and left is not the place to go on the 10th. I can't land this ball on, my, on this green, all I can do here is hook the 8 iron, land it short and hope to dribble down in front of the green. And that is really good and really lucky. I don't mind admitting to a bit of luck on this golf course. Now this should be simple, but I actually make a complete hash of this. Now I find this hole easier from the competition tee because it's a straighter shot. 
And yep, I'm coming down a bit steeply. I don't know where this has come from, but it just started. Somehow I gotta survive the back nine with a swing that's gone slightly wrong. But that's as good as it gets. And this isn't the easiest five footer in the world, I can assure you. Wow, wow, wow. Down the left on 13, then you got a view of the green. Sorry, 12. Why did I say 13? Anyway, this is right. This is in a pickle. I can see the left half of this green. Trouble is, the flag's on the right half of this green. Now that shot is about 95% good. But the 5% that's bad means I'm up here at the back of the green. Yeah, it's downwind, I remember now. <laughs> this hole's plays downwind. So the second mistake on this hole is wandering over with my sand wedge. And as soon as I get there, it's the wrong club. I want a club that will run out. And this just... Well, that's... That's just poor, Simon. Not as poor as the putt that's coming up. But it was poor. So that's another bogey. Number 14 has been relayed as well. So we're on a mat still. I've got this thing teed up too high. And I've popped it up. So that's sure. So it's hoping to be about another 40 yards or further along. But this is a nice shot. Nice draw. Little help from the bank, admittedly. Just a wedge to a front flag. Now, I don't know what this landed on. Can't quite see where it landed, but it has run right to the back of the green. And to add insult to injury... We got a three jab bogey on a par five, which is absolutely criminal. My son putted better than I. Now this is not very nice. Going over the corner here, over the out of bounds, is never a problem for me. But that is just ugly. Right so we're three off the tee. Yeah, right. And that's the anti-left swing. So I'm well right of the green. It's funny, isn't it? No matter how much you think you've improved, 
you can still throw in a double bogey in the blink of an eye. And this has been a very peculiar round of golf. A real game of two halves. Still, that's life. And this is real, real life. This is real golf. There's no fakery going on here. Now, this drive doesn't look so good. But the further you hit it, the wider this hole becomes. So that's just fine. Steep downslope, fluffy line the rough. No bother for me. I've played this shot so many times in 20 odd years of being a member. Heart of the green. Two putts, get me final par. Thanks for watching. Probably one of the strangest rounds of golf you've seen on YouTube. Cheerio. Well, that's not a bad Father's Day present, is it? Round of golf, round Gloucester. Still making changes round here and improvements to the course. Catch you on the next one. Cheerio. Mm -hmm.